coming straight out of high school from Chicago, um, I had a strong interest for the military. I joined the service and I went into the Army. And my job that I went into service for was a communications and I was a communications specialist. I spent two tours in Europe and Germany and I spent over about seven years total in the military. Once I uh, completed my time in the service, I continued to work uh, for the government as a uh, United States Postal carrier. And after 13 years of this this work, um, it began to take a toll on me health-wise. Um, it led to some medical issues that I started to have. I became disabled from a surgery kind of uh, mishap where a disc ruptured and it paralyzed me. The ticketed work program was introduced to me throughout my rehabilitation time periods. The VA was assisting me. They even offered me the ideas about if I ever thought about going, going back to work. So they introduced me to a representative from the Social Security Board uh, who told me about this ticket to work program. Well, as the representative explained the program, it was obvious that there were some safety nets there. Um, some of the things that I was worried about, I really didn't have, it was no worry at all. Now, it wasn't until the Volk Rehab representative for Paralyzed Veterans, who again introduced me to the Ticket to Work program. And I told him I had heard of it and I was aware of it. But at this time, as, as years had went by, I felt a little bit more stronger about uh, actually accepting it this time because I knew that I was at a level uh, health-wise and I felt it was time for me to make some serious decisions and not be living on a fixed income when I had such a desire to want to do much more. The program had told me all the things like, um, well, if it don't work out, it was still enough of, so, of a security net there to say that you don't have to worry about that. They even gave me a year, even while I was working, that I was still covered under Social Security. They make sure that they are there to assist you and help you in all types of ways, not only to put you back in the workforce or give you the skills that you need to get there, but to follow you once you're there. After uh, being part of this uh, Ticket to Work program, I started looking again into the availabilities of uh, positions for a national service officer. At that time, there just happened to be some available positions. He put in the ticket, uh, the position uh, that he had to apply for the position normally. Uh, that position came up and he shortly thereafter, he, he was selected as a candidate to, to, to be a national service officer at the Chicago office. After the interview, they immediately told me that I was very much qualified and I could uh, prepare to uh, begin to come to work. I became a uh, national service officer for the Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America, of course, is a service organization dedicated to helping those veterans with spinal cord injury, spinal cord disease, as we assist all veterans with VA benefits and we advocate for veterans' health care. Yeah, Robert Stano. I'm a national service officer with the Paralyzed Veterans of America. I greet and meet with especially the new veterans or a new patient that has just come in there for the first time. Coming back to work has probably built up my independency, the self-pride, and, um, you know, I'm an achiever again. You know, I got something to offer society, and, you know, it's almost like you're, you know, regaining a good portion of dignity back. Prior to even coming back to work, I was highly um, interested and in, got interested in some of the disability sporting events, um, the uh, wheelchair games. I used to participate in that every year and it was a big event for me. The Ticket to Work program, it, it helped open up the door and put me back to where, you know, it's almost like it's put my life back on track.